If you're a product manager who doesn't really see the value in Google Analytics, especially GA4, you might want to consider these five alternatives to GA. Because as the deadline to move over to Google Analytics 4 approaches and Universal Analytics rides off into the sunset, it's natural to question whether you need Google at all. Well, for some companies, the answer is no. You don't always need Google Analytics, especially if you want to see how your products are performing once a customer has purchased. Google Analytics, though, is a marketing tool, and so you need to make sure it's on every single piece of your marketing collateral, at least having links back to your site, or the code is on every page of your site and your app. But these five tools are Google Analytics alternatives with an emphasis on tracking how well your digital products match the needs of your customers. So let's take a look at these five product analytics tools that could replace your need for GA. And one final reminder for a complete list of Google Analytics alternatives, visit ddu.ai slash buy GA. Okay, tool number five is Mixpanel, a powerful self-serve product analytics tool to help you convert, engage, and retain more users. And you can do this to see which features are popular and how many users you have. You can build retroactive funnels and analyze conversion rates on the fly. You can see which types of users stick around and for how long. Now, mixed panels are number five with an overall score of 58 out of 100. It is nice that it has a price score of five because it is free for small sites, which is great. I actually use an extended free trial of mixed panel when I was getting started with Data Driven or the company that became Data Driven. And I found that it's pretty nice and pretty generous with the limits, although I had trouble with installation. So we give it a two out of five for installation ease. Uh, features comparison, two out of five as well. Privacy score, two out of five. Integrations with other products, four out of five. Report quality, three out of five. And expertise needed, two out of five for an overall score of 58. Now, from my personal experience with Mixpanel, what I'll say is that I felt sort of dumb trying to set it up and I'm a technical person. And so I felt dumb because it had a lot of effort that was needed in order to get things working properly. And I could just never get it to work exactly how I wanted it to. I could never get it to look and feel right. And so that was really my problem. I sort of felt dumb after using it. And it doesn't seem like it's really improved that over the years. And so that is why it's our number five ranked tool in this area. Tool number four is Amplitude, which I've been hearing quite a bit about lately. Uh, Amplitude gives your team self-service product data to understand your users, drive conversions, and increase engagement, growth, and revenue. And you can make the right digital product bets. You know and predict which combination of features and user actions in the product are going to be working. And they're making billions of actions for you to translate to your business outcomes like revenue, loyalty, and LTV or lifetime value. You can innovate and act with speed, intelligence, and precision, and you can do all this by unifying every team with common visibility to bring a common set of customer behavior and engagement data to every person on your team, from products to marketing and beyond. And the result is better decisions, faster actions, and transformed experiences. So our overall score for this product is 63 out of 100. That is brought down a little bit by price score. It's one of the more expensive tools we evaluated, so it gets a two out of five, although they do have a pretty generous uh, free trial length. Installation ease, two out of five. Features comparison, three out of five. It's sort of hard to install and there's not as many features as some other tools in this class. Privacy score, three out of five. Integrations with other products, five out of five. Report quality, four out of five. And expertise needed, three out of five for an overall score of 63. Okay, number three is Heap. Now Heap and Amplitude are sort of neck and neck and things that I've been hearing a lot about. Now Heap, as a more of a product analytics tool, is designed to give data about products and how customers interact with them. It collects all the data from all your customers automatically. What they click, where they go, what they do, even when they're not looking, all without the need for engineers. Heap's powerful data science layer scours your digital data set to pinpoint the events and behaviors that most impact your digital experience. And it's a low code platform with intuitive visualization tools to empower individuals and teams to locate the insights they need with minimal need for analysts or engineers. Okay, so the overall score is 66 out of 100, which puts it at tied for number two or number three on our list. Price score, three out of five. Uh, it's pretty expensive, really. Uh, free trial length, we don't really know if it has a free trial or not. Installation ease, though, since it's low code, no code is a four out of five. Features comparison, three out of five. Privacy, five out of five. Integrations of their products, not a lot of integration, so it gets a three out of five. Report quality, two out of five. And then expertise needed is a three out of five. You don't really need a ton of installation experience or code experience to get it going, but it does require some expertise to understand it and to take action. And that puts it at number three. 
in our list overall, tied for tool number two, or tied with tool number two, which is Countly. And Countly is a powerful product analytics tool across all your apps and devices. It allows you to understand your customers and their actions in detail using user profiles so you can track all important actions and transactions in the system using custom events. You can dive into page views and understand how customers interact with your pages using heat maps and visualize your customer behavior automatically using flows. So the overall score is 66 out of 100. Price score, four out of five. Installation ease, we found this the hardest to install, so it gets a one out of five. Features comparison, four out of five. Privacy score, five out of five. Integrations, three out of five. Report quality, two out of five, which is a little bit lacking. And then the expertise needed is a four out of five, bringing us to an overall score and tied for number two at 66. Okay, our number one tool is Smartlook, which is a user behavior tool that records visitors on sites and in mobile apps and games. This allows you to get clear insights by watching users' recordings. And if you don't have time to watch the videos, the advanced filtering capabilities take you to the right and crucial moments. So you don't have to watch the whole video. And within one click, you can get recordings of all your drop-offs, fix the problems that you see, and plug the leaks in your funnel to make more money. And you can see visually how your users move at your website or app to determine whether the path you created for them works as expected. So our overall score for our number one tool in this category is a 73 out of 100. Price score, three out of five. Installation, three out of five. It's relatively easy to install. Features comparison, three out of five. Privacy score, four out of five. Integrations is where it shines with a five out of five. Same with report quality, four and a half out of five. And the expertise needed is just about par for the course for this type of tool. So we give it a three out of five. It's not as easy or expertise ridden as installing something like Google Analytics, but it's pretty easy overall. And that gives it a score of 73. And there you have it, the final five tools we've ranked in our series on Google Analytics alternatives. And much like the other alternatives that we ranked, these tools are best used as a complement to your existing GA data and or your new GA4 installation. It's not a complete replacement. Now you'll find this is a common theme in all 42 tools that we reviewed in our search for a perfect alternative to Google Analytics. The perfect alternative simply doesn't exist. But you already know that by now, right? Because you've been watching these videos. If not, be sure to check out our complete ranking of GA alternatives over at ddu.ai slash buy GA. And stay tuned for our next video. We are gonna go one through 42 on all the tools we reviewed, give you a reminder of what we're looking at and rank the number one alternative to Google Analytics. See you then on the next video.